Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. Have a great week ahead. I would like to say few words behind the story of Onam in today's video. If you're watching my channel first time, please do subscribe, like, share and try to enable the bell icon to get notifications of my future videos. Onam is an annual Malayali harvest festival in the Indian state of Kerala. A major annual event for Keralites. It is the official festival of the state and includes a spectrum of cultural events. Drawing from Hindu tradition, Onam commemorates King Mahabali and Vaman. The celebration is to remember the golden rule of Mahabali, a mythical king who ruled Kerala. The legend holds that jealous of King Mahabali's popularity and his power, the devas and gods conspired to end his reign. They sent Lord Vishnu to earth in the form of a dwarf Brahman who trampled Mahabali to the nether world. Dot Vamnan asked Mahabali for three feet of land as his wish from the generous Mahabali. In the first two feet, Vaman measured the entire universe, leaving nowhere to place his third foot. Mahabali offered his own head to place his third feet, making the wish complete. Lastly, Lord Vishnu granted the king's sole wish. I to visit his land and people once every year and is celebrated as Onam in Kerala every year. The festival probably has ancient origins and it became intricately linked with Hindu legends at some later date. The earliest known reference is found in Madurai ki a Sangam poem which mentions Onam being celebrated in Madurai temples. Since then, multiple temple inscriptions record celebrations of Onam. The date is based on the Panchangam which falls on the 22nd Nakshatra Thiruvonam in the month Chingam of Malayalam calendar which in Gregorian calendar falls between August September Mahabali and Vaman According to Hinduism Mahabali was the great great grandson of a Brahman sage named Kashyapa the great grandson of a demonic dictator Hiranyakashipu and the grandson of Vishnu devotee Prahlad This links the festival to the Puranic story of Prahlad of Holika fame in Hinduism who was the son of Hiranyakashipu Prahlad despite being born to a demonic asura father who hated Vishnu rebelled against his father's persecution of people and worshiped Vishnu Hiranyakashipu tries to kill his son Prahlad but is slain by Vishnu in his Narsimha avatar Prahlad is saved Prahlad's grandson Mahabali came to power by defeating the gods devas and taking over the three worlds according to vaishnavism the defeated devas approached vishnu for help in their battle with mahabali vishnu refused to join the gods in violence against mahabali because mahabali was a good ruler and his own devotee mahabali after his victory over the gods declared that he would perform a yajna Homa sacrifices rituals and grant anyone any request during the yajna. Vishnu took the avatar, his fifth of a dwarf monk called Vaman and approached Mahabali. The king offered anything to the boy, gold, cows, elephants, villages, food, whatever he wished. The boy said that one must not seek more than one needs and all he needed was 3 paces of land. Mahabali agreed. Vaman grew to an enormous size and covered everything Mahabali ruled over in just two paces. For the third pace, Mahabali offered his head for Vishnu to step on, an act that Vishnu accepted as evidence of Mahabali's devotion. Vishnu granted him a boon by which Mahabali could visit again once every year the lands and people he previously ruled. This revisit marks the festival of Onam. as a reminder of the virtuous rule and his humility in keeping his promise before Vishnu the last day of mahabali stay is remembered with a nine course vegetarian onsadya feast the name trikkara is originated from thirukalkara meaning place of the holy foot the main deity at trikkara temple is vaman the smaller temple to the side has shiva as the deity Vaman temple is known as Vadakkum Devar and the Shiva temple is known as Tekkum Devar. A number of subsidiary deities have been installed at Trikkara temple. 
Though the Varman Temple is accepted as the main temple at the elite level, the local people consider the Shiva Temple as the more important one. They believe that Shiva was the Kuldevam family deity of Mahabali and that there was no Varman Temple at that time. The palace of Mahabali was situated at the place where the Varman Temple is at present. After the fall of Mahabali, his palace was destroyed and later on Varman was installed on that spot by the Saint Kapila. According to Nandita Krishna, a simpler form of this legend, one without Mahabali, is found in the Rigveda and the Vedic text Shatpatha Brahmana where a solar deity is described with powers of Vishnu. This story likely grew over time and is in part allegorical, where Bali is a metaphor for thanksgiving offering after a bounty of rice harvest during monsoon, and Vishnu is the metaphor of the Kerala sun and summer that precedes the owner. According to Roshan Dalal, the story of Mahabali is important to Onam in Kerala, but similar Mahabali legends are significant in the region of Balia and Bhavan in Uttar Pradesh, Baruch in Gujarat, and Mahableshwar in Maharashtra. The story is significant not because Mahabali's rule ended, but it emphasizes the Hindu belief in cyclical nature of events, that no individual, no ruler and nothing lasts forever, except the virtues and self-understanding that overcomes all sorrow. I may be miles away, but the spirit of Onam will always stay in my heart. So, let's celebrate this Onam festival by heart and by soul. Happy Onam to you!